I'm glad they're dead yeah. because they worked all their lives and they would have lost everything. That was Lynn Gildersleeve. Her parents were among thousands of victims of Robert Allen Stanford's scam. It took 15 years for those victims to have this day in court. Some saw it as a last-ditch effort to recoup some of the millions of dollars, often their entire retirement savings that had been stolen. News that their money was gone turned their lives upside down. A Ponzi scheme operates by using new investments to provide what looks like profits to earlier customers. As it snowballs, it takes more and more money to pay off the investors until the whole scam eventually collapses. The Stanford Trust operation is regarded as the second largest Ponzi scheme to ever operate in the U.S. I think that all of the facts was, was there, right there for everybody to see. And they're, they're intelligent people, but they made a decision that yet they hold them responsible but they didn't, didn't say that they were reckless enough to where the individuals would recover their money from the state of Louisiana. The 12-person jury agreed unanimously that the Louisiana Office of Financial Institution owed a duty to the plaintiffs. But 11 of the group concluded that the agency's conduct was not reckless in its handling of the case. The Stanford Victims Coalition claimed that the OFI warned member banks about Stanford in 2004 but did not warn retirement and IRA holders. As soon as these deposits went in the bank, they were immediately transferred overseas. That's a red flag right there. When the state find that an institution is under investigation, they should immediately take action, and they didn't. 